So we know Mars had liquid water you know, many billions of years ago, but unless you want to build a time machine to go along <laughs> with our spacecraft, that's not going to be an option. Is there any liquid water right now? I mean, we know the air pressure, carbon dioxide pressure on Mars is so low that uh, uh, if you just poured water on the surface, it would evaporate or freeze right away. So that means there can't really be liquid water, can there? Well, at least not on the surface, and that's the trick. There has been some recent discoveries that have shown that there is liquid water, but deep underneath Mars. So we're kind of seeing layers of Mars going into the surface. It's kind of like ground penetrating radar almost. Yeah. And so as you go deeper and deeper into Mars, there has been hints of underground lakes essentially of liquid water. And we're, we're not talking about carbon dioxide water or something weird, we're talking about H2O okay. underneath the surface. Fairly near the poles again. Again, fairly near the poles, so that poses a problem. So presumably the weight of the rock on top of it is giving it enough pressure so it can actually stay in the form of liquid water. And actually you only need to go a few metres down before you get enough pressure to keep it as liquid water in principle. Exactly, and especially down here where they think this is, you know, they're starting to detect this at least at the poles at about one and a half kilometres down. Now that's deep, but there are some layers probably a bit above. The issue you find though is also it's highly salinated. It's very, very salty water. It's almost briny water. Which it would probably have to be to keep itself liquid under the freezing temperatures. So really this doesn't look very useful. I mean, I think you're probably better off just melting the stuff on the surface rather than trying to drill a kilometre and a half underground, which is difficult even on Earth, let alone trying to get all the drilling equipment to Mars. And then you've got salty stuff you're going to have to desalinate. Well, and that's exactly right, because, you know, w with these pockets, you're drilling down through all this dirt, and a lot of people reference it's kind of like looking at the lakes underneath the ground in Antarctica. The temperature's similar. In fact, Antarctica's probably warmer in places. Uh, you're digging a couple of kilometers down, as you said, and then you still have to deal with it. So, yeah, there is liquid water, but it's probably going to be more trouble than it's worth, especially given that there's a lot of H2O ice pretty much anywhere near the surface. And this is very interesting because it's a place where life might conceivably have survived. The idea being that maybe early on when Mars is covered in water, life evolved, and then as it froze steadily, maybe that life migrated down somehow to be underground somewhere. So there's a lot of interest in drilling down there for science. But in terms of supplying water for a colony on Mars, I don't think it's worth the effort. No, and it doesn't sound like it's going to be. But at least we can say, all right, we, we can give up the liquid water, but we'll take the ice. And if we have ice, then we can melt it, we can take it through the rocks, and there's enough to work with. Yeah, I mean, the, the energy needed to melt water ice is a small fraction of the energy you're going to need for a colony anyway. It's no big deal. Exactly, that's right. And it's going to be a lot less than drilling down anyways. Absolutely.